It's the sunlight experience. Your rhythm brings to life, to life, to life, to life. This is my season. <laughs> This is my season This is my time oh. Give me victory You're the sovereign one I have your power I am your breakfast Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to a new week. This is the week for your divine settlement. Jeremiah says, I know the thoughts are things towards you. They are thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. Just somebody God has settled my case. The Lord has changed my story. I trust somebody is ready this week for another power encounter here in the presence of God. Oh, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. May your joy overflow this morning. 
May the joy of the Lord be upon your life. It is truly your season. You got joy, you got joy, you got joy, you got joy. Oh, clap to sense as you come to praise the Lord this morning. Today, today, somebody you are about to rejoice. You are about to shout. Oh, you are about to lift up your voice in praise. Today, click the like, click the share. I will lift up my voice in praise. Today, oh, I will lift up. Good morning, Mama Francis. Good morning, Chadi. Who else is on here this morning? I will lift up my voice in praise. For I know the Lord. You are Almighty God this morning. Spirit of the Living God. Welcome, 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 welcome. Your week of divine settlement. Bless the Lord. Father, we come to lift up our voice. May the God of Kimi Ori visit you this morning. May you receive a touch from the Lord. Oh, come on, lift up the Lord this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Father, you are worthy, Lord, you are worthy. Today, this morning, right here, right now. Ah, oh, bless the Lord. The Lord is always there. He's almighty God this morning. Yes, you are my own. Good morning, Apostle. You are welcome. The Lord is surely in this place this morning. Yes, Lord. We come to lift our voice. We declare your glory. All that come down is all. You are Almighty God this morning. You are mine. Oh, are you clicking the like and share this morning? I will praise you, Lord. Praise the Lord for the sound of victory. Oh, we give God praise, we give God praise, we give God praise, we give God glory. Somebody bless the Lord with me this morning. Give God all the honor that is due His name. He's a mighty God. 
He's the great I am. There is none like unto him. He's the Alpha and Omega. I may the Lord sanctify you. May the Lord bless you from Zion. I may the Lord cause a testimony to come upon your lips. I pray may the Lord settle your case this morning. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Daddy, we thank you. That as we come into a new week. A Lord with long life shall you satisfy us. And that is what your word says. I satisfy your people this morning. I pray that anyone that come with the bed in that. And may the Lord lift up your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus. We give you praise. We give you to praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Daddy, we give you praise. Is somebody clicking the like and the share? I'm awesome. God, we magnify your name. The Bible says, He that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet reward. But Matthew 10 and verse 41. I pray this morning as you receive the servants of God. I pray may you receive a prophet reward. And may the Lord overwhelm you with kindness. May the Lord overwhelm you with joy. In the name of the Lord Jesus. May the Lord cause your head. Head, your head not to lack oil in the name of the Lord Jesus awesome God we give you praise awesome God we give you the glory you are an awesome God as somebody bless the Lord with me this morning awesome God we give you glory oh glory 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 Yes, Lord, there's nothing, there's nothing, absolutely nothing in this world that can satisfy about you, O oh God, the God that settle cases, and this morning may you settle, the God that changes story, and this morning may you change story, let the trajectory of our lives, Lord, let it enter a new dimension this morning, I pray, O oh God, as Joseph encounter you, Lord, as Jacob encounter you, we pray this morning for divine revelations, in the name of the Lord Jesus, Lord, anyone under the sound of my voice, that has cried, Lord, Oh God has been in torment. I pray let this week be a week of divine settlement in the name of the Lord Jesus. As you settle Hannah case, Lord, that one that was prevailing over her, a God beneath her. Lord, you settle the case for Hannah. Lord, do it for your people this morning. As you settle for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, Lord, settle this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus. A spirit of the living God, and we decree and declare this morning, Lord, let somebody get their testimony, let somebody get their breakthrough, let somebody get the answer. To their prayers in the name of the Lord Jesus, we prevail upon this altar. I decree and declare that none will come and go by the stream. Lord, there will be testimonies, Lord, there will be signs, Lord, there will be wonders. Iman de Rebakataya, Lord, this very morning, let the King of Glory, let the Lord of Law, and may He touch your life this morning in a special and unique way. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Almighty God, we hold on to the horns of the altar. I pray for somebody this morning that Lord, there will be new wind will blow a divine speed will accompany your life in the blessed name of the Lord Jesus we give you praise we give you praise we give you praise and let the Lord let the King of glory and I said the same God that restored Job may that God restore you this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus the Bible says in you O Lord and do I put my trust let me never be put to confusion and Psalm 71 and verse 1 and this week I pray confusion shall not know your address and disappointment shall not know your location in the name of the Lord Jesus and the Lord will settle your cases the Lord will settle you in the name of the Lord Jesus and Bible says but if he be found there will be sevenfold restoration I pray for you a sevenfold restoration about the special grace of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Almighty God this morning I pray let the heavens be open and let the heavens be open over every vessel under the sound of my voice in the name of the Lord Jesus a spirit of the living God uh, who is like unto thee uh, among the God there is none uh, you are holy you are magnificent uh, in all your ways uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus uh, uh, Father speak a uh, uh, father declare a uh, victory this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus uh, as many that are listening uh, from around the world uh, I pray that Lord let shackles be broken uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus uh, let shackles be broken uh, uh, Lord let there be supernatural encounters uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus a uh, uh, spirit of the living God uh, somebody say me amen 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 Amen. Amen. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome this morning. Uh, welcome, people of God. Uh, welcome to Kumi Ori in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, this is a whole new week. Uh, we are grateful for the goodness of God, for the mercies of God. You have come to a week of divine settlement. Uh, and did somebody hear me? I said, You have come to a week of divine settlement. And uh, uh, you have been through uh, and so many setbacks. Uh, the Lord is about to repay you. The Lord is about to repay you. The Lord is about to settle your case. Uh, the Lord is about to lift up his hands over you. 
and you that have been crying on your bed of affliction, the Bible says the one that come are bearing are coming with tears, you shall return. I declare you shall return. You shall return with your basket full of favors and grace in the name of the Lord Jesus. Welcome this morning to kill me, Ori. I don't know what has been your crying. For Bible says that weeping will endure for the night because God will settle it for you. He said the joy of the Lord comes in the morning. At this very morning, let the joy of the Lord locate your life in a special way. And Father, we prevail upon this altar. I pray for somebody this morning that you have cried your last cry. And God is about to plant your foot in the vineyard of Jehovah. I pray that may there be open heavens over your head. And may you walk on the open heavens in the name of the Lord Jesus. Almighty God will give you praise. Almighty God will give you praise. May the goodness of the Lord be upon your life this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus. And the Bible says, Isaiah 43, 19. Behold, I'm about to do a new thing. A man of God, I see new things. I see new testimonies. I see grace. I see favor. I see abundance over your life. May the Lord terminate that which has been prevailing. That strong man that has been speaking in the name of the Lord Jesus. About the special grace of God. A Lord, this morning we come as I place my feet upon the earth. I decree and declare. I hear me to the north. Hear me to the east. Hear me to the west. Hear me to the south. This is the season for a divine turnaround in the name of the Lord Jesus. And did you hear me? I said, This is the week for a divine turnaround. And may the Lord settle. And may the Lord settle. And may Jehovah settle. And may the Lord settle. And that which has not been working in your life, may you receive your portion, your healing, your joy, your deliverance in the name of the Lord Jesus. A spirit of the living God. As somebody lift up their voice this morning, I tell the Lord, I say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I glorify your name. Lord, I exalt your name. You are great and you are mighty. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, this morning, we come to hear your voice. And this morning, we come to receive from you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, I pray that you will touch. You will touch lives this morning. You will minister to many this morning. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Beloved, welcome. The Lord is surely in this place. He alone. Let's listen to this song right after it. We're going to get into the time of the word. With the seven of God this morning. I said this is the week of divine settlement. Tell somebody my case is about to be settled. Oh, are you here with me this morning? Tell somebody my case is about to be settled. It may have delayed, but God is always on time this morning. God is about to settle your case. God is about to settle my case. In Jesus' name. Can I tell somebody that this morning, Vicky, the Lord is about to settle your case. Oh, who's typing this morning? The Lord is about to settle somebody's case. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I declare that settlement, divine settlement, divine settlement is coming for somebody this morning. I see it in the realms of the spirit. As we were preparing from last night, I was at the major program last night and there was just a grace. I see the Lord settling your case. Uh, Father Lord, uh, we lay our crowns. Or somebody that's just staring in the realms of the spirit. Uh, begin to lift up your voice and bless the Lord with me this morning. Say, Lord, be lifted. Lord, be lifted this morning. Uh, lift, oh God, let the Lord be lifted over your house. Uh, let the Lord be lifted over your job. Uh, over your businesses. Uh, over your cars. Uh, over that disease. Uh, let the Lord be lifted. We magnify the name of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, this morning, let your name be lifted. Let your name be lifted. Uh, let your name be lifted, I pray. Let your name be lifted, I pray. In the name of Jesus, Imanda na basata, Rade keperi on the sir. As somebody bless the Lord with me this morning. In the name of the Lord Jesus, a good morning, Mrs. Garrett. I may mean, the Lord settle your portion. In the name of the Lord Jesus, oh my God, we praise Your name, Father. We lay our crown as we worship You, Lord. Oh, you are glorious God. Father, we lay our crown as we worship you this morning. Come on, somebody. Let the Lord be lifted over my life. As we lay our crown, oh, we worship you.
Mataka Somebody, somebody, get into the mood of worship. We praise your name. Oh, thank you for your oil that is flowing from this altar this morning. As we worship you, Lord. Oh, my God. Uh, we bless the Lord this morning, somebody. We give God glory this morning. Uh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I take great pleasure now in introducing my friend all the way from Abuja, Nigeria, and the co-host, his servant, Pastor E.P. Yuda. Welcome, welcome, servant. Welcome, welcome, servant of God. Hallelujah. Good morning, everyone. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Wonderful Monday morning. Oh, yes, Lord. It's a wonderful time. This is our season mm. of divine settlement. Yes, sir. I'm sure yes, sir. that you're not going to return the same. Oh, my I'm God. Sure oh my and the God. Lord is going to settle you this week in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. I, I don't know what you have been praying for, but man of God, uh, amen. He gave me the theme of the week. Mm. Uh, the book of First Chronicles, chapter 4, verse 9. Mm. Let's tell you at my mm. and verse 10. When Jesus lifted up his voice and mm. cried, mm. he cried for a settlement. He cried for a change of glory. Yes, Lord. He was asking yes, the Lord, Oh, Lord, enlarge my territory. Mm. Bless me. Enlarge mm. my territory. Mm. Settle me. Mm. Settle, settle me. me. And then settle. enlarge me. Settle and me. Enlarge me. Settle me. That enlargement was settled. Me. Yes. So that it become a problem. Mm. So, it, so I was born in pain. So mm. things were not going where I planned. And yes. the time has come. Verse 10 says, mm. Lord, settle me. Lord, settle me. I call that word enlargement settlement. Yes, Lord. Just call upon the God of Israel, say, yeah. Oh, that you would bless me mm. and enlarge my border. Yeah. That is settle, settlement. Settlement and enlarge my border. Mm. There is someone that's looking for divine settlement. Mm. The time has come. You've been up and down. You've been praying. You've been fighting battles. You fight against the setbacks. Mm. But a time like this has come that you say, Lord, mm, Lord. Settle, settle me. Settle me. Oh, my Dabaya. Settle me. Settle me, Lord. I don't, I don't know what you need. Mm. Whether it's a financial settlement, yes, whether it's a career settlement, whether yes, it's a marital settlement, yes, Lord. whether it's in your health or oh, ministry, a time like this has come. Mm. And you say, Lord, settle, settle me. me. I need a settlement. I need a divine settlement. Yes, Lord. I don't know who you are. Come on. But as we go into the world, as our, my dear brother takes us into this journey, mm. I, I'm sure that this week you have your settlement. Yes, Lord. That, that man, that man at the gate of uh, at the gate of the temple called yes, the beautiful gate. Yes, Lord. After the apostles, chapter three, mm. uh, chapter three, right? Yes, he, he was there, there and night. He mm. was there. He didn't know what was going on. No. But the day that settle Peter me. and John passed through there settle was me. the day that Lord designed to yes. settle him. Leave he was asking for peanuts from mm. people. He was asking for coins. Mm. You don't use mm. coins to become a billionaire. Yeah. Mm. He was asking for coins. My God. But some day came that mm. the Lord decided to settle to him. Settle him. And as Peter and John were going to pray, the mm. hour of prayer, the yes. gentleman came in the hour of prayer. They said, stop and go. We don't have to give you because you are uh. used to the gold coin. Mm. But what we have to give to you in the name of, of Jesus, Jesus Christ. That affliction that followed you from the mother's womb is My coming God. to an end. Yes, Lord. They said that instantly. Yes, the man rose up. Oh, he God. wasn't sitting Set anymore. Me, he rose Set up me. and began to walk. Set because me. he needed a Mm. I don't care what the enemy have done. I don't mm. know what the enemy has done. You, Settle me, Lord. you sit down in one location, but yes. I know that this month oh, there's going to be a divine settlement oh, that's going to open up your doors. 
Mm. A divine set of people that's going to move you into where you need to be. Yes, so Lord. under the sound of your voice, you have company with the great. You have mm. company with people that are supposed to be rich and mm. okay. Mm. Uh, you have not seen this thing robbing of you. Mm. You, you have not seen this thing in your life, but this morning this I'm morning. sure that the Lord is about to settle. You. Thank you, Someone Lord. Needs to yes, Lord. Ministry, financially, maritally, mm. whatever thing settle. that you need the Lord to settle you with today. Yes, Lord. I am blessed and Mm. that the Lord is about to settle you in mm. the name of Jesus Christ. I, I'm just going to say this thing, sir. Man of God, that man was at the pool of the cider for yes. 38 years. Come on. He, he didn't know how it could be. He Come on. Settled. Uh, uh, doctors were giving medical reports. Come man. on. So he was now waiting how long? for divine intervention. How long ago? Divine intervention. They was waiting for his settlement. Mm. He waited a day, year, one year, two year, three. Mm. He said, I had no man to take me to the pool when the angel mm. of the Lord will come to stay the pool. But this time around, yes, Lord. he didn't need a man. He needed to understand that mm. the divine set of yeah. was standing in front of him. Mm. And the Bible recorded in that John 5 that mm. Jesus said to him, are you ready? Are you ready? Why are you mm. still here? Mm. What is going on with you? Why are you on that bed? Mm. He tried to record and lament. Mm. Some of us have been looking at our lamentations, mm. looking at our story mm. of God. What he mm. said to us in all that Jesus Christ said to him, mm. carry up your bed and mm. go. That Set was the man. I don't know who you are, but yes, today you're about to receive your own set of oh, my God. in the name of Jesus Please, Christ. I'm John. That whether you're sick in the body, you'll be settled. Mm. Whether you're in death, you'll be settled. Remember that woman, man of God, yeah. the, the wife of the son of the prophet, yeah. in the book of Second Kings, chapter 3. Yeah. We, we know the story. Mm. He said, this, the, the, the people that the my husband are and coming. Have come. The coming. doctors have come, have come, have come, have come to bring my children. Yes. What will I, do? I need to settle this debt. Yeah. I need to settle this bill. I need to settle, I need to settle the mortgage. Mm. I need to settle what I, I have been owing. I mm. need this settlement, mm. Lord. Mm. And the Bible recorded that mm. Apostle, mm. Child, uh, Prophet Elisha mm. did not ask her uh, mm. to go and bring a picture for him to stand for mm. him, for mm. her. He didn't ask her mm. and said, go to one social and social person. He asked, what do you have? Mm. Because I'm about to use what you have to show you mm. a divine order of multiplication. Mm. Maybe someone yeah. Mm. You need a financial settlement mm. to handle the debt that mm. you've been owing. Mm. Like that woman was, mm. uh, the Lord is about mm. to give you a channel mm. of divine settlement yes, in the name of Jesus Come Christ. On. Hallelujah. Man of God, please go ahead. Oh my God. What, what, what a start. What a start this morning. Uh, man of God, as we begin this morning, divine settlement. You know, this 50 days of prayer by divine order that we begin at the year. I share on the platform. Yes. As a sister who had placed a specific request. The pastor, mm. my, 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 my sister is paralyzed. They don't know what is going on. And, uh, um, she, she put the prayer request, we must pray. She sent me her number. We prayed with the lady. And when we prayed with her at that time, a couple of months ago, man of God, nothing was happening. Yes. Over the weekend, the sister yes. called me. The sister said, Pastor, uh, she, she's on the line right now listening to us. She's a pastor. I said, that talk to me what's going on. She said, my, 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 my cousin is walking. Uh, the one that was, uh, couldn't walk that he said is paralyzed. Uh, it was an emotional Ooh. call. <laughs> I was sitting there. I said, God, yeah, 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 the yeah, God yeah. of divine settlement. Uh, when, when, men de when men declare, the Bible says, give the Lord no rest <laughs> until he establishes yeah. Jerusalem <laughs> and make her praise. Uh, Isaiah 62. Yeah, yeah. I declare unto somebody this morning, I don't know what is yes, prevailing yeah. against yes, your life. I don't know what is stopping you from walking. I don't know what is stopping you from rising. I don't know what is stopping you from your destiny purpose. Uh, the Lord in this week uh, is about to give you a divine settlement. I come with us an unusual oil this morning. As somebody, your story is about to change. Oh my God, when she sent the message, she said, Pastor, I will send you the picture. And the woman was wheelchair bound, as supposed to be in bed for the rest of her life. As she's walking, uh, there is a sign in the heavens this morning. And the Lord is about to settle your case. I don't know about you. Are you about to break out? You are about to break loose. And the Lord, our God, and the God of Kumi Ori, is about to do it in somebody's life at uh, this very morning. I declare to somebody your story will change. Yes. Oh, somebody yes. say me amen. Yes. I declare to somebody your testimony is about to manifest. Yes. I declare yes. to somebody and uh, may you receive your reward uh, yes. in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, I pray no strong man will keep you bound. Uh, I pray no powers of darkness will hold you captive uh, and no gatekeeper will prevent you for what God has for you this week uh, in the name of the 
Lord Jesus. And daddy, we give you praise. And may the law, and may the Lord settle your case. And may the Lord settle your case. And may the Lord settle your case. For divine, divine settlement. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I'm going to be reading a lot of scripture this morning. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I stay with me. The Bible says, uh, Father, we thank you this morning. Somebody has joined from a part of the world that needs a case settled. May your case be settled today. As somebody has joined from Africa that you said, I cannot see a way out. I cannot tell you the, the Lord that says, I am the way maker. We make a way for you this morning to settle your case. And Jabez had to get the agency to go to God and pray. The man of God, he said, God, I am tired of this moniker on me. Wherever I go, they call me first pain. Wherever I encounter pain, as I accompany my life, I need settlement. And today, the woman with the issue of blood, for 12 years, they said, uh, everywhere she go, her name was no longer mentioned. They knew her by her condition. I declare to you, yes. uh, because God is settling your case, uh, your condition will no longer precede your name. Uh, in the name Amen. of the Lord Jesus. And uh, uh, they call some of the blind Bartimaeus uh, until he encounter oh, God, man. the God that settled. His name was no longer, that adjective was not there to call him blind. He became the son of Timaeus. Uh, I pray for you this morning. And uh, may the Lord change your name, change your position, change your story in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, somebody say me amen uh, so bible says in first peter 5 6 uh, it says humble yourself therefore under the mighty hand of god uh, so that at the proper time the uh, bible says god uh, will assault you uh, stay with me this morning bible says casting all your anxieties on him why because uh, he cares for you so then bible says be sober minded uh, be watchful he said your adversary your adversary hear me uh, your adversary the one that means you evil the one that, that, that means you wants you to plot your downfall he said that one prowls around like 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 not is but like a rowing lion uh, seeking somebody uh, to devour but praise be unto the name of the lord the bible said when we resist him uh, jabez resisted her uh, he resisted that which was upon him because he needed settlement uh, hannah resisted her uh, at all the tons of pinina at uh, this morning you got to resist her uh, bible says stand firm in your faith uh, knowing that the same kinds of suffering have been experienced by your brotherhood to other world now I love this. Now, Bible says, and after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, uh, the God of all grace, uh, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ Jesus, uh, he himself, oh, did you hear that? He himself uh, will restore, he will confirm, he will strengthen and establish you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Say, so, say God establish me. Uh, I like the King James in this instance. Bible said, but the God of all grace, uh, uh, who had called us unto his eternal and the glory oh my god and by christ jesus after that you have suffered a little while a child of god we know that you have suffered a little while and that sickness and that report and that job that accusation he said you have suffered a little while he says make you perfect he will establish strengthen and settle you and may god settle you today in the name of the lord jesus a man of god i was preaching yesterday and i told the man people god, you know, that's, go ahead that's, that, that, that. Oh, yes. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, that, that, that settlement mm. and that suffering there is very important for us to note. Mm. It didn't say you suffer forever. It didn't yes. say you suffer a all little while. Time. It didn't say you suffer every moment. It said you shall suffer a little while. Oh, God. I don't care how long that suffering has been. He battles the day that the Lord is terminating it mm. in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Because he said uh, that after you suffered a little while, mm. I, I, I don't know if I've had anyone that will say with me, mm. man of God, I have suffered. I have <sighs> suffered. Uh, I came to announce that today, under this corporate and mind, battles, uh, that, that suffering is over. In it's the terminated. Of of but the special the Lord terminates that suffering. Now. Whatever suffering that was in your life, Abadia. whatever suffering that have been going on in your family. Oh, glory. To them, mask the end of in the name of the Lord Jesus. Settlement. Christ, Settlement. Settlement. Amen. Man, I, I was preaching, uh, uh, my, my friend in Chicago, uh, Pastor Albert, uh, he was telling me, he said, man, we went to a prayer meeting one night and uh, every topic they lifted, there was a certain sister in the back. Uh, all the, they said, let's pray for the sick. She said, God, uh, there is a debt. The debtors are coming. I need it pay. They said, every prayer topic they raised, let's pray for our souls. Uh, I only pray that night, well, God, I need this debt settled to night uh, and the creditors are coming to disgrace me by the money they yeah, said yeah, when we lift up let's pray for the pastors she said god and her voice was louder so bible said give the lord no rest bible said at the 
point in a meeting, uh, as, as somebody just walk over to her and say, sister, what do you need? She said, I need this amount of money. And he wrote the check. As somebody, you got to be stirred up in your spirit this morning to nah, say, yeah, God, yeah. I am tired of being tired. This little while, yeah, it yeah. must come to an end. Uh, my, my, my pastor friend was yeah. telling me, he yeah. said, listen, uh, no matter what prayer topic we lifted her, uh, all she was concerned that night, said, God, as for tonight, uh, you must settle this case. Uh, I cannot go back home uh, empty-handed. Uh, something must move. Uh, something must take place. Something must happen in my life tonight. Uh, if you come this week uh, with the agency in your spirit, uh, when Jabez prayed, he went with an agency. He said, God, in last my territory, wherever I go, I see pain. Whatever I touch, I see pain. I need a solution. I pray for somebody this morning. If you come with the spirit of agency, if you come with a demand to place upon the oil, if you cannot place a, a demand on the oil, how can you receive her? When you go to press olive, the olive oil that we use, the anointing oil that we use, the processor that brings out, it is pressed, it is crushed before it reveals. You have to press in this week. As somebody, you need something. I stand up for you. You are tired of being tired. God says, I am about to settle the case. I am every setback that you are facing. You are coming back because God is setting it. So let's take a, take, take a few minutes here to settle some things. When we talk about divine settlement, man of God, uh, uh, this morning, I hope some of me, uh, we are speaking that somebody has been owed something and it's due you. So you need to be settled. Mm. Oh, stay with me. Mm. When we talk about divine settlement, man of God, sometimes uh, the settlement is overdue. Uh, and I like that part when it's mm. overdue. Uh, there is always an interest paid uh, on the overdue. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, God is about to give you an overdue pay in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, because of what is due you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, when we talk about divine settlement, uh, somebody stay with me this morning. And uh, maybe it's your health. Uh, oh my God. Maybe it's your job. Maybe it's your relationship. God is about to give you over and above uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, because Bible says uh, when you give and you are expecting God will give back unto you a good measure press down shaking together running over he said you will cause men to give unto you our God does not give less he gave more uh, for Bible says uh, that God is able by Ephesians 3 20 uh, to do exceedingly abundantly uh, far above uh, all that you can ask or think uh, at this morning as you come to the week of divine settlement may God give you over above may God give you overflow uh, may God give you an abundance uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus uh, for your divine settlement Settlement. I don't know this morning what you need. I know somebody need a settlement. You said, man of God, I've been through it. A man of God, you spoke about Hannah. Uh, you spoke about Jabez. Uh, they've been through it. And uh, they need a settlement. And God had appointed a season for the settlement. Uh, so let, let's look at the dictionary definition this morning. This is devotion. I get your Bible. Sit back. Sit back. Let, let's go. The dictionary says, man of God, settlement means a conclusion or resolution of a matter. Mm. Mm. So when you conclude something, it's settlement. And many of you that have been in, involved in land cases, in judgment case, you always go to the courtroom for settlement. Uh, that they will settle, the judge will read out his verdict, and you will settle. We come to the righteous judge, the living God. Uh, a settlement comes out of when you are in, in uh, discomfort and you want to bring uh, uh, an education to your case. Uh, it's settled. Uh, uh, so when we look at uh, the dictionary definition, now, man of God, let me give them uh, the, the Bible definition of divine settlement. That's right. Divine settlement yeah. is a supernatural restorer uh, to a place of glory. Oh my God, did you hear that? A, a supernatural a restorer uh, to a place of power. A supernatural restorer mm -hmm. to a place of peace and rest. That's what God day for Jabez. I pray for somebody this morning. May that be a supernatural restorer for you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 when we talk about divine settlement this morning, we are talking about deliverance. Uh, a man of God, how can it be that somebody has gone uh, two, three, four, five years uh, uh, without the baby being married, uh, but suddenly uh, God can compress time. He said that which you miss in year one, you miss in year two, you miss in year three. I'm about to give you a triplet for it. Oh, and uh, that is divine settlement. Uh, what God can do. You say you have been working uh, for five too long and uh, you have missed your pay cycle and uh, god can give you an increase suddenly you find a bonus that is divine settlement you're looking for a good host yes, divine settlement 
God can give you good wife, divine settlement. Mm. He will settle your case. Right. A man of God. But there is something you and I need to do. I said, please at the man. If you look at Exodus mm. chapter 3, uh, this morning, beginning at verse 6, uh, remember I said, I'm going to overload you with scripture because somebody, you need to get a divine mm. settlement this morning. So Bible says, right. moreover, he said, I am, I am the God of my father and the yeah. God of Abraham. That is God speaking to Moses, mm. the God of Isaac and the God of mm. Jacob. He says, mm. and Moses hid his face for he was afraid why to look upon God. Uh, so watch this. Uh, and the next verse tells me something. It says then, uh, then the Lord said, I have surely... I have surely seen the affliction. Child of God, when God wants to settle you, first he will see. Oh my God. When God wants to settle you, first he will understand your plight. When God wants to settle you, first he has a divine agenda for you. So God was telling Moses, he said, Moses, I have surely seen the affliction of my people. What is your affliction this morning? And God will settle it because he has seen. He said, what no eyes have seen, what no ears have heard, what has not entered into the hearts of men is what I have in store. Because when I settled you, there was not to spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus. He said, I have seen the affliction of my people in Egypt. He said, and I have heard, oh my God, I have heard their cry because of their taskmaster. What has become unbearable to you? Are you crying to God? Are you placing a demand upon him this morning? He said, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know the pains that you are going through. I know, I know the troubles that you are facing. I know the ramifications of what you are seeing. This morning, I come with a special grace uh, to tell somebody that God knows uh, he's about to answer. He doesn't say, I, I just, I know. He says, so I have come. I've come to settle the case. He said, I've come down to deliver them. Or in other words, to settle what is going on. He says, I will deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptian. As God said to you, settlement is delivering you from one level of trouble. He's going to deliver you into a place of abundance and rest, like I said. He said, I've come down out of the hand uh, to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians. To bring them up out of that land. He says, where? Uh, uh, to a land uh, uh, where there is good. He said, the land is broad. He said the land is flowing. That is settlement. Uh, where you are a slave. Uh, he takes you out, man of God. Uh, from your position uh, 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 of low estate uh, to your position of high estate. Uh, and that is divine settlement. Uh, when he takes you out of a place of trouble and places you in a place uh, of abundance. He said where I'm taking them to uh, they, it will not be even comparable to what they are seeing. He said that land is a good and broad land. Uh, the land flowing. Uh, oh glory. Hallelujah. Uh, he said flowing with milk and honey. There is an abundance uh, in a place of settlement. I pray may you have your abundance in the place of settlement. He said it is flowing with milk and honey uh, to the place, he says, of the Canaanites. A uh, child of God, I don't know who's sitting on your seat right now. I don't know uh, who's taunting you upon your place of authority, on your where your crown of glory is sitting. God said I'm about to move them. You are about to be settled in the name of the Lord Jesus. So man of God, I noticed certain things as we read the scripture. First, Israel had been calling unto God and crying. Child of God, are you tired of your situation? Don't remain silent. Uh, are you tired of your condition? I said, don't remain silent. Uh, I, 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 can you not bear it any longer? I don't be silent. I don't give the enemy an advantage. Uh, uh, see another thing. As uh, someone was oppressing them, uh, whoever has made an attempt uh, to block your access uh, to your place uh, of divine settlement uh, by the grace of God, under this corporate anointing, uh, I decree and declare, uh, as the Lord said, I have seen, uh, I have heard. Uh, so therefore, I have come uh, to give you divine settlement. And uh, may the Lord see, may the Lord hear, may the Lord know your unique story today, that this is your divine time, uh, a Kairos moment for you, that the Lord is about to bring you into your place of divine settlement, which is flowing with milk and honey. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I see another thing. I God decided uh, that there is a time on my calendar. I am about to sell. I am about to deliver. I am about to settle you. That's what I see. The Bible says it took many years, uh, just like we read a couple of weeks ago. The uh, Bible says when Daniel understood uh, about the books, uh, he set himself to prayer. He said, Lord, uh, I'm not going to be silent. Uh, I'm not going to keep my mouth closed. Uh, 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 the right, uh, my right is to have. Uh, my right is not to, not to be a slave. My right is not to operate in sickness. My right is not to have sorrow all around my life. A child of God, a Daniel prayed. If Daniel pray, uh, you can pray. There is a song I heard. Uh, he says, uh, I will pray. I will pray. And he said, If Jesus can pray, if Paul can pray, I must pray to tell God uh, there is something that is a torment to my life. I 
need this settle. There is a sickness uh, prevailing upon me. I need this settle. Uh, there is a job uh, I've been applying for. It is not coming. They are not calling me. I need a settle. I pray for somebody this morning. May the Lord I bring you divine settlement. I release the grace uh, for settlement as the Lord did uh, for Jacob, as the Lord did uh, for Israel. May Jehovah this morning I bring you divine settlement in the name of the Lord Jesus. Tell God, what do I see? I see that there is a timing on God's calendar that he has for you to settle your case. I declare unto somebody this morning, by Psalm chapter 30, the word of the Lord says, Oh God, when I cry to you, you hear me. You hear yes, me. Lord. You hear me. May God hear your cry this morning. Uh, you, are, you have been in this state for far too long. He says, uh, not so only hear me, say you will heal me. Oh Lord, this morning. He said you will heal me. As somebody you have been struggling uh, uh, every time you go this says uh, the condition is getting worse can I tell you God the God of heavens and earth by Jeremiah 17 14 heal me oh Lord I will be here he's about to settle your case uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus a uh, man of God I, I, I'm going to go to uh, th three or four more scriptures uh, we haven't even gotten started yet uh, hallelujah uh, in the book of Isaiah chapter 30 let's watch this uh, and then we'll get, we'll get to where God wants us to go this morning and uh, there is a fire upon this altar the word of the Lord says, uh, and therefore the Lord waits. Uh, he says, the Lord is waiting uh, to be what gracious to you. Uh, why is the Lord waiting? Uh, he says, therefore he exhausts himself to show mercy and uh, mercy to me. Can you imagine this? Bible says, God is waiting to settle my case. Oh, say, so Lord, I thank you that this week uh, you are about to settle my case. He says, he's waiting. He exhausts himself to show you mercy. He said, for the Lord is God of justice. Blessed are all those who wait for him. Are you waiting on the Lord? Have you not heard us Isaiah 40 verse 30, down, they that wait, oh, they that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew their strength. Uh, you will mount up with wings as eagles. Uh, I love the characteristics of an eagle, man of God. The Bible said the eagle can fly through any storm. So no matter what the issue is, the eagle is settled in the name of the Lord Jesus. Once he spread his wings, uh, I tell of God when you are settled, your wings uh, are about to be spread. Uh, I declare over somebody this morning, may God uh, help you in your issues. May God uh, exalt his name uh, that he will show you mercy uh, for the divine settlement. Yes, now watch this. The Bible yes, says, Lord. for yes, a people Lord. shall dwell in Zion, in Jerusalem and you shall weep no more. And if you have been weeping because your case is not settled, the Bible says weeping will not come to you. I hear the Lord says that weeping it may endure for the night. Remember a short time. Yes, but the joy of the Lord is coming in the morning. When joy comes, and that is divine settlement. Oh my God, I release for somebody this morning. Let your joy come this very morning. He said he will surely, and he will surely, surely, surely he will surely be gracious to you. He said, at the sound of your cry. Hey, did you hear that? He said, at the sound of your cry. Uh, do you know when somebody is crying, it's because they are uncomfortable. A man of God, did you hear that? And when somebody is crying, it's because something is going. And when somebody is crying, they need attention drawn to them. I check their babies. Uh, and sometimes when they cry, uh, they are uncomfortable. Maybe they are wet. Maybe they are in pain. And they need uh, their mama, they need their daddy to pay attention to them. At this morning, cry unto the Lord. I said, Holy Ghost, uh, I I am my cry. I am uncomfortable in this situation. I am uncomfortable a lot in this condition. I'm crying to you for divine settlement. Bible says, as soon as I hear, I will answer you. I may the Lord answer you this morning. I may the Lord answer you this morning. I may the Lord settle your case this morning. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. As so bad, as we get ready to pray, I want to jump now to Isaiah chapter 65 and the 18 verse. The Bible says, uh, but be glad and rejoice forever. Uh, in that which I create for behold, he said, I created Jerusalem to be a joy and the people are to be a gladness. And did you hear that? And then he says of you, he says, I will rejoice in Jerusalem and be glad in my people. I said, no more shall it be heard the sound of weeping ah, and, the cry and the cry of distress. Do you understand That's distress? Right. Distress is like 911. <laughs> Man of God, Distressed when there's fire. This, I remember my, this, uh, yeah, my, my, my oldest boy, uh, CJ. I was traveling once. I left yes. here and the mama at home. Yes. I, I believe the mama was cooking yes. in the kitchen. And, 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 yes. and something dropped in the stove and the fire began to come. Uh, the boy ran out, mm -hmm. uh, ran out of the house, left the mama in the house uh, and started shouting from outside the alarm, fire, a fire. I said, hey, CJ, mm -hmm. how can you do that? He said, daddy, I was saving myself first. Then I'll call the, the ambulance to come and get mommy. May that not be your portion. Uh, I may the Lord send help to you. 
you in the time of your need. And, and whoever is crying fire, and may God come to your aid. Whoever is raising the alarm, and may God hear your cry. Whoever is shouting, I am in distress, and this is uncomfortable. Now watch the next verse. The Bible says, no more, no more. No more shall there be in, in, in an infant who lives about a few days. I Meaning, something was happening. Infants were being born and dying early. So Bible says, I'm about to settle that case. Uh, he said, oh, an old man who does not fail out the days. Uh, have you heard? Uh, Psalm 91 verse 16. Well, long life, I will satisfy him. That is divine settlement. Hezekiah got the word of the law that Hezekiah put your affairs in order and you are about to leave this place. Uh, and God said, uh, uh, the master, uh, he turned his face uh, to the wall and began to cry. He said, God remember. He cried unto God. Uh, God remember uh, what I did. Uh, I didn't follow. Uh, the people of old, uh, I did good. The uh, uh, Bible says, before the prophet could leave, God sent back a word. He said, I'm giving you 15 more years in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Bible says, uh, he says, for the young man, I shall die a hundred years old, and a sinner, a hundred years old shall be a curse in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then Bible says, divine settlement. He said, they shall build houses. Those that cry to me will build houses and inhabit them. Divine settlement. Hallelujah. He said, they shall plant vineyards. And they will eat their fruit. Oh my God. And somebody will not eat after you, after your sweat. Oh, yeah. A divine settlement. Oh, yeah. In the name oh, yeah. of the Lord Jesus. Oh, yeah. He said, They shall not build her and another inhabit. Ha, ha. Did you hear me? Every time the Lord wants, every time shame is coming, mm. the Lord brings settlement. Settlement. Every time shame settlement. is around the corner. Macaruza. I'm hearing shame, shame. Oh. Whoever Come on that now. shame has been knocking at the door. Iparosa. The woman in that program was praying just one prayer. Yes. He, he said, uh, Today. He, he shared a testimony. He said, everything that they were praying, every prayer point, she uh -uh. was praying only one. What? Lord, Today. to get to us, I come in the morning. Mm. I, I need the settlement from this shame. Yes, Lord. I, I don't need the settlement tomorrow. I need it now. 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 It was specific. And I heard the Lord loud and clear. Okay. Now, when shame was mm. coming, mm. the man, the woman was crying for one thing mm. settlement mm. before the shame meets you oh. uh, settlement is already here yes lord before the show uh, mm. to ask you for that debt mm. uh, has already been released yes lord uh, I, I don't know who you are man of god uh, Come on. as you are praying about planting vineyards mm. and building houses mm. uh, uh, and living in mansions mm. and hear the lord uh, mm. that before the shame shows up uh, Maha. in that person's life uh, i'm gonna release settlement settlement now. settlement now. Not tomorrow not the end of the now program. Now, 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 someone under the sound of my voice, oh, the Lord is about to grant you a divine settlement. settlement. A settlement. Mm. Come on. I don't care the name that I've called. I don't care what the enemy have said. And Ooh. the hour has come. The hour. That God is going to give you a settlement before the shame. In the I name of Jesus. Come on. Come on. The Bible says, they shall not build and another inhabit. Meaning somebody else will not enjoy the fruits of your labor. Divine settlement. May you eat the fruits of your labor. Divine settlement. He says, they shall not plant another eat. Ah, divine settlement. He said, for like the days of a tree shall the days of my people be. And my chosen shall long, 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 long enjoy the work of the hands. A child of God, what is a settlement if you don't enjoy it? I pray for you today. May you enjoy the good of the law in the land of the living. I love this one. The next verse says, and they shall not labor in vain that the settlement of bad children for calamity. He said, for they shall be the offspring of the blessed of the law and the descendants. The Bible says with them, in the name of the Lord Jesus, may your offerings, offspring be blessed in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let me go to the verse 24. I love this. Bible says, before they call, I will answer. Divine settlement. The man of God just said, before the shame come, God will already settle it. Because he's listening. He said, before they call, I will answer. He said, while they are yet speaking, I will hear. May that be your testimony this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. Beloved, I want you to understand that he's Jehovah, you read, the Lord that provides. David said in the 23rd Psalm, the Lord is my shepherd. Because he's my shepherd, I shall not want. No sheep that is following after a good shepherd wants for any good water. If you follow the good shepherd this morning, he will settle your case. He knows where the best water is. He knows where the best place is to graze. So David said, the Lord is my shepherd. Meaning I follow after him, so I will not want. I hear this, the story of uh, uh, this man called Obedidom. When he accepted the ark, 
Yes. Bible says yes. God brought divine yes. settlement to him. Yes. I pray one of these days we have time to talk about Obedidom and, and he being a stranger in the land of Israel. But God settled for him. When the ark was taken, Bible says he and his entire family follow after it because they saw settlement. Bible says before they call, that's I will right. answer. That's, that's While they are yet right. speaking. That's right. That's right. That's right. I pray that may God settle that's your right. case this morning. Amen. Let's have a few minutes, man of God, to, 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 to really delve Amen. into what we have this morning. In Esther, it's just a short chapter. Ooh. Esther chapter 6. That's Something right. happened. That's Divine right. settlement. I will quickly That's go through right. it in the next five minutes. Right. Bible says, on that night, the king could not sleep. Mm. And he gave orders right. to bring the book yeah. of memorable deeds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He said, they're chronicles. And they were read before the king. Child of God, remember I said, uh, sometimes settlement are overdue. Uh, somebody's about to get the settlement. Uh, Bible says, he said, bring the book of memories. Uh, let me go through it. Uh, you see, when God is about to do something, he always goes to the top. Remember Joseph. Uh, when God needed to settle Joseph's case, he went to Pharaoh. In the case of Mordecai, he went to the king, uh, Ahasuerus. Uh, he says, uh, he, the king was restless. Uh, just like Mo uh, Pharaoh was restless. He said, open the book of memorable deeds. Uh, hallelujah. He says, and it was found written how a Mordecai had told Eba, a big Tana, and Teresh, a two of the king's eunuchs who guarded the thresholds, who had sought to lay hands on King Ahasuerus. Oh my God. And did you hear that? A settlement was coming for somebody. The Bible said, and the king said, What honor of distinction that is settlement. Oh, God is about to honor somebody this morning with your healing, with a new job, with that brand new good husband. With with that wife, with that baby, I declare that the Lord will heal you this morning. He said, what honor of distinction or distinction has been bestowed on Mordecai for this, for what you did. Maybe somebody forgot, God did not forget. And maybe somebody chose not to recognize you. God will recognize you for your divine settlement. I said, maybe somebody forgot that you were the one that helped them in the time of need. I declare in your time of need, God will settle your case. Bible said, the king's young man who attended him said nothing there was no settlement for Mordecai oh my god Bible says and the king said who is in the court Bible said now Haman had just entered and now I want you to know in chapter 5 Haman had an issue with Mordecai so he was planning that Mordecai will be executed and killed the same one the same enemy that is plotting your downfall and may the Lord use them to settle your case and they will be confused and Bible says who is in the court he said now Haman had just entered the outer course of the king's palace to speak to the king about having Mordecai hand uh, do you notice this? Uh, what can God not do? Oh, hallelujah. The same one uh, that is carrying your letter of termination. And may he be the one that will be terminated. And you will be given the position in the name of the Lord Jesus. He was coming to the king to say that as for this one, Mordecai, the one that we forgot uh, that saved your life. Uh, let's hang him. How can that be in the name of the Lord Jesus? The next verse. Uh, the Bible says, and the king's young man told him, Hema is there standing in the court. And the king said, let him come in. See what God can do in the divine settlement so said him and king him and the king said to him what should be done to the man the king did not explain it. he said what should be done to the man whom the king delighted oh bible says bible said delight yourself in the law he will grant you the desires of your heart he will settle it bible says him and said to himself whom whom would the king delight to honor more than me you see what a man a pride a pride goes before downfall and do you notice that i pray for somebody this morning and may you humble yourself before the law a bible says uh whom whom uh, what should be done so uh, that the enemy was planning for himself not knowing that god was about to settle somebody he says and he said to the king for the man whom the king delights to honor and this is what he says let 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 royal robes mm. let royal robes be brought he said, which the king has won. The, uh, man of God, the audacity. He says, the clothes that you have won, put it on that person. Ah, ah, come on. Oh. He says, and the horse that the king, come on. He said, the, the horse that the king has ridden on whose head, uh, he said, on whose head a royal crown is set. He says, so all the king is enjoying due to that person. A child of God, you are about to go to the top. Uh, did you hear me? Uh, God is about to take you to the top.
up. I saw watch this. And Bible says, uh, he says, and let the robes and the horse be handed over to the one. So in other words, what you have won, what you have written, give it to that person. Yes, Lord. Settlement. Most noble officials. He said, let them dress that man whom the king delights to honor and let them lead him on the horse to the square of the city. In other words, publicize the story. It will be on CNN. Publicize the story. It will be on TBN. It will be Amen. on MSNBC. Any channel. They will hear what the Lord has done. God. He says, proclaim it before him. Thus shall be done to the That's men right. whom the king delights right. to honor. Delights to honor. Watch this. Bible says, then the king said to him, oh, hurry, take the ropes Hurry. and the take horse. The as you have said, the, the enemy in the court, he says, and do to Mordecai, the Jew, who says at the king's gate, leave at nothing that you have mentioned. May your enemies come to serve you as God settled your case in the name of Jesus. I declare this morning, I don't know who's plotting your downfall. May that be the one to bring your next appointment letter. He says, leave at nothing. God will settle it. Bible says, so Haman took the robes, man of God. Man and of the God, horse. I hear the word. As you a preacher, I hear the word. The enemies in the court. Ah. Hey, hey. All this so morning. The enemy, in the court, the enemy was right there with the king. He, he, so he could not manipulate the set of Mahataba. He could not hinder the set of Rodos Kebe. The right hand God mm. proved to Haman that he is a God, mm. that his knowledge is you above the knowledge of men. Mm. His thought is higher mm. than the thought of men, mm. and his ways are higher than the ways of men. My God. I don't know who is that enemy in the court oh, that is looking at your case, but mm. today mm. I came to tell you that God oh, will yeah, withdraw their wisdom mm. and their knowledge. He, he will turn their knowledge Super backward into foolishness in because the time of settlement has yes. come. It's come. Mordecai was not in the court, but Haman had the privilege to be with the king at zero, sir. Haman would have manipulated the settlement and mm. he had the power. Mm. We did not even know what was going to Come happen. On. I came to tell someone this morning ah. that before they know what is going to be, oh my. God will finish the assignment yes, Lord. on your behalf. Mm. God will not allow your enemy to know what is going to do for you. Thank you, Lord. And your enemy will be you, sir. Thank you, Lord. To Oh, no, you, I don't know who you are. Oh, glory. A man was in the court. In the court. Would have been able to manipulate. Uh -huh. Would have been able to carry out his enchantment and spells. Uh -huh. Would have been able to frustrate the plans uh -huh. of most the king. Mm. The Lord withdraw his knowledge. Yes, Lord. He did not know what was going on. Oh, he thought say. of himself to be the one uh, mm. that Kiazeros wants to honor. Mm. But he didn't know that his downfall mm. was right at that point. Come on. Uh, I came to prophesy at this moment. Somebody. Come on. That God will plot the downfall of your enemy. Thank you, Lord. God is using him to honor you mm. in the name of Jesus. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. The enemy was in the court. Man of in God. the court. <laughs> right but there. Dr. Paul did not see what he was doing. Mm -mm. He was hidden. Uh, he was in the court. He was in the court. Obscure. He, he was there with the king. Mm. He, he was there with the king. Mm. Yet he was preparing mm. the promotion letter of his enemy without hey. knowing her. He was giving the very recommendation yes, uh, of what to be packaged with this entitlement uh, oh, my. that is going to go to his enemy without mm. doing it. Uh, mm. He was busy. Uh, I don't know who you are. <laughs> Come on. Your enemy is about to prepare recommendations. Uh, think he is preparing for himself. Uh, mm. Not knowing that God has turned the table. My God. Uh, not knowing that the circles of the inflation mm. uh, and, and, and the manipulations have been destroyed. In the name not of knowing that the spell has mm. been arrested. Uh, my God. Man of God, they were Mm. In the life of King Azeros, yes, sir. Because the book that was open reflected mm. that Mordecai was supposed to have been settled. Yes. The next day that he was told the king, though they delayed your settlement, yes, Lord. They came to announce that this week, this week, whatever that was delayed, oh, will be coming with compensation. Yes, Lord. Remember when the pastor said that when it's overdue, mm. he must come with compensation. My God. If they came to Mordecai, the reward of what he did. Yes, Lord. When they plan to play the king, yes, Lord. I'm not sure would have been wearing uh, mm. the apparel of the king. Mm. Uh, I'm not sure would have been sitting uh, mm. on the horse of mm. the king. Uh, mm. But when it was so bad, mm. uh, the settlement came uh, mm. with a package uh, yes, Lord. of divine and now My God. we prophesy in Jesus' name uh, that your enemy that delayed your breakthrough, oh, uh, God will frustrate them. Uh, yes, Lord. Bring them to the place uh, that they will see your honor. Mm. They will be the one uh, mm. to announce your honor mm. before they go down. Yes, Lord. Uh, God will use them. Uh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. God will use them. Yes, Lord. To honor you. Yes, Lord. In the name of 
of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So, man of God, as we close this morning, I was so Haman took the robes and the horse, oh, yes. and he dressed yes. Mordecai. Yes. Oh, tell them, I, I want you to imagine this. The guy was thinking that it was for him. What a shame that fell upon him. Uh, Bible says he, dr he, he dressed Mordecai and led him. He, the one that was plotting the downfall, he led him to the square of the city, proclaiming. So he was speaking. And may God use your enemies to tell that what he has done for you. He said he was proclaiming before him, Thus shall be done unto the man whom the king delights to honor. And thus shall be done. The enemy was confused. He began to speak of the goodness of the law in the name of your enemy will begin uh, just like Balak and Balaam he said how can I curse uh, whom God has blessed uh, I declare for you uh, that you are blessed uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus now watch this uh, as I close this morning Bible said then Mordecai returned to the king's gate but Haman hurried to his house Muni his head covered in shame may that be the portion of your enemy this morning i decree and declare whoever is plotting your downfall uh, god is about to settle your case uh, in the name of the lord jesus uh, whoever has spoken evil or uh, is planning evil has written your name in the evil diary ah uh, i pray every wicked person uh, around your life uh, every gatekeeper around your life uh, the one in the court uh, that is always putting your fire at the bottom of the pile uh, and the one in the office uh, that is always putting uh, uh, your email deleting it uh, I decree and declare that uh, they shall be the same one to go and undelete it uh, and bring uh, a divine settlement for you. I hear the Lord, but Psalm 71 uh, and verse 21, the word of the Lord says, uh, that shall increase my greatness. And uh, uh, may that be your portion. That is divine settlement. And uh, may the Lord increase your greatness. And uh, uh, Mordecai's greatness was increased uh, upon the earth. And uh, uh, may that be your testimony today. As the Lord settles you in the name of the Lord Jesus, a man of God, Zechariah 4 and verse 9, the Bible said, the hands of Sarubabel had laid the foundation of his house. He said his hands are shall complete it. May you complete whatever you have started in this year, in this fifth month. May the Lord bring restitution. May the Lord bring settlement to your issue, to your case in the name of the Lord Jesus. Man of God, the, the next verse, mm. when a man went to his house. Mm. Watch this. <laughs> said, uh, because this is going to be the story of someone. Yes, Lord. Uh, and her man told to his wife, wife all his friends everything everything that had happened to him <laughs> nothing happened to him but he confessed that something has already happened to him. because he, then his wise men this way is diviners yes his enchanters then his wise men so this man had wise men yes he had honest. wise men and his wise men and his wife cherished meaning that his wife also was a wise a woman yes. she said to him if Mordecai, before whom you have begun to mm. fall yeah is of the Jewish people, you, you will not, not overcome him, but will surely fall before, before him. Hey, I, I don't know who me. would have been trying to make you to fall. Mm. If Mordecai, before whom you have begun to fall, Bless the Lord. I don't know who would have been beginning, uh, have been falling you in different fights uh, that Shana. pulled you down, that rubbish you, that fight it. against you this week. Mm. I came to tell you that the law yeah, is going to settle you, in the name and of that person will fall for your sake yes, Lord. in the name of Jesus in the name Christ. Of surely. Surely. That person will fall for your sake mm. in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord. That person in the office mm. that have been following you, mm. with, giving you query, giving you notes, mm. stopping you on every threatening side. You. And that woman that have been targeting you. Yes, Lord. Today, 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 today even his own wife mm. and will tell him, mm. man of God, mm. his wife's men mm. told him, told him, in other words, you don't have a way out for you. you. Fall to we don't know how to enchant this one mm. to turn it around. Mm. In other words, God has frustrated mm. They have frustrated the token of the liar. Mm. In other words, the diviners have wrong men. Mm. In other words, the wise men have become foolish. Yes, Lord. Today, I announce uh, their enchantment, mm. their divination. By. Whatever they use no, to put shall fail because they In the name of Jesus. Of Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Man of God, as we usually do, Answer. we want to give you an opportunity oh, to yes. know Christ this morning. For him to settle your case. If you don't know Christ, child of God is a sorry state of affair. Bible says all have sinned and fallen short of the glory. And there is a pay for falling short of the glory. Romans 6.23. For the wages of sin is there, but the gift of God is eternal life. Eternal life is divine settlement. This morning you want to pray this prayer as we prepare to close. This week is the week of divine settlement. 
We want to begin oh, Christ yes. and ask God. Say, Lord, thank you. Isaiah 1 18 say, Come, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, I will make yes. them white as snow. Though they be red yes. as crazy, I will make them as wool. Say, Lord Jesus, yes. I thank you this morning yes. for hearing yes. your word. That Lord, you are about to settle my case. So I ask for divine forgiveness. I pray, oh God, that you settle me. Lord, reconcile me back to the Father. I give you praise and I honor you. In Jesus' name. Child of God, this week, get ready. Tighten your seatbelt. Something will move. Uh, when when, my, when the, the sister called me, she, said, she was emotional. She said, Pastor, uh, the 50 days did something. Uh, the 50 days, there are still testimony coming five months after. Uh, she said, uh, uh, she's walking. She went. She said, uh, the, the woman, I prayed with her, man of God. And she was in torment. I, I can remember when I prayed with her on the phone. Uh, she, said, she, said, she, can't, she couldn't walk. She was bedridden. But suddenly, on Saturday, uh, she went to her, her daughter's wedding walking a paralyzed woman divine settlement the god of kumi ori that did it for this sister man of god the testimonies are piling up may the god of kumi ori settle your case and do for you i shared the picture on the platform Yes, she was Lord. with a walker, but yes, she was Lord. bedridden for a good while yes, when I spoke to her yes, after Lord. the fast. And the sister, just yes, like the woman that said, as for today, God paid this dead. Her only prayer during those, those uh, 50 days of fasting, say, Pastor, I'm praying this. Let the God of Kumi Ori heal my Lord. sister. She yes. must walk. She must stand up. This, they, they couldn't find the issue. But here she is, standing up, walking. What can God not do? May God divinely settle your case. Child of God, you have to place a demand on the altar. Uh, she, the, the sister said, I place a demand. I, I, I know she was calling me. Uh, she placed a demand that God, uh, she was not praying for herself. She was praying for her sister that God, she must walk. God, she must stand. May your testimony be secure. We bless God this morning for all your lives. We give God praise. This week, there is going to be fire from this altar. Please don't miss any day. The Lord has set us apart. We are, we are seriously praying for you all. Remember to keep sending your prayer requests. I believe on Friday, I will put your prayer request. We will show you the picture upon this altar. Prayers at sunlightradio.com. In the name of the Lord Jesus. We're going to engage in prayers on warfare this week. Somebody, your case must be settled. Did you hear me? I said your case must be settled. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I don't care whatever is prevailing in your family. Your case must be settled. In the name of the Lord Jesus. So if you can see on the screen. Send yes. your prayers to prayers at sunlightradio.com. We are going back. This is a week. Something must happen. Uh, those two stories came to mind. A man of God. Can you imagine? The woman said, I don't care. Whatever prayer topic you, my only prayer topic tonight, God, for you is this debt must be settled. And Bible That's says, right. before the meeting was over, somebody who the Lord moved mm -hmm. them, they went and said, Sister, what do you want? She said, I need this amount of money because by tomorrow morning, I'm about to be disgraced and shame. The man wrote her a check, said, go pay your bills. Now let's continue praying. May you not give God rest until he establish you and make you a praise. Have a wonderful, a wonderful rest of your morning. And we thank God. Please remember to pray for Pastor Yuda and pray for me as well. It is so important. And this week, there's going to be miracles, testimonies, signs and wonders accompany your life. Have an awesome and awesome rest of your day. Stay tuned this week, the week of divine settlement. God bless you. Shalom, shalom.